Hey, this is Ryan with Zentail. I'm going to show you how to import data into your catalog in bulk. So right now we're starting off on the dashboard. You're going to click on the three vertical dot icon in the top right hand side of your page and click on import data. Now this is going to take you to a page with four tabs. Run existing report, previous imports which will allow you to see what you've previously imported, previous exports which will show you what you have previously exported and create new template. This is where you're going to create the templates that will then appear in the custom report templates section. Uh, I'm going to run through on how to do that. So here I'm going to name this the test template. Now this should be checked um, it, as long as the first row is the header row which is typically the convention. Leave this the same and scroll down over here. Now this is where you're going to enter the columns uh, that will be in your file which you import. Now SKU should always be included so that is already pre-selected for you. Now you hit the plus button right here and you can type in the column you're looking for. So I'm going to do sales price, hit the plus button again, and I'll do the map price and the MSRP. All right, then you're going to click create template. So now you'll be taken back to the run existing report page. You can click custom report templates. When you scroll down, you should see the template you just created right here. Now the thing to make sure is that these columns align with the columns in your file. So if SKU is column A, when you go to your file, SKU should also be column A. Sales price is B, just as it is in the template. Now the most important thing to remember is when you're saving your template, it must be saved as a CSV file. This helps to preserve the integrity of the data. So I'm going to save that and go back to my template. Now you click on the template and upload that file. So I click right here. Again, make sure it's the CSV format. First row is a header row. And click next step. Now you can preview this. So right now I only have one row, but the SKU is aligned, the sales price aligned, same with the map and the MSRP. Now in this section you can choose which fields you want to import. I'm just going to import all of them. Click Start Import, and you'll see it right here. Now it's going to say pending, but eventually it will move into the processed stage. And you, once this reaches 100%, all that information will appear in uh, SKUs in your catalog. Now, if you're if you import a SKU that does not already exist in your catalog, this will create a new SKU. So. Exporting is very similar. All you have to do is create a template like we just did, or use one of the preset ones. And then you click download report. So instead of uploading, you're going to download, include header. You can filter this. And then you hit start generating report. And that will appear in the exports. And once that's completed, you'll have a little download button right here and you can download that to your computer and this will also download a CSV file. Alright, so that is importing and exporting in bulk. Let us know if you have any more questions.